My wife calls this the murder forest because I was transplanting trees with my excavator. You can see her with her hand raised and a little frustration, I think, at the crookedness and uh, broken trees. Um, but anyways, while I was doing this work, my John Deere 490E excavator sprung a hydraulic leak, which you can see here. Uh, the leak was actually in a pilot line uh, that ran up to the left control lever in the cab. Um, it was, uh, the split actually happened though in the uh, back left engine compartment by the batteries. Uh, so fortunately I didn't have all this hydraulic oil in the cab, uh, but there was a lot of hydraulic oil leaking out as you can see from my little gauge here. Um, uh, this was my first time changing a hydraulic hose, and so I tried finding information online, and a lot of the stuff assumed basic things like uh, which nut to turn on the hydraulic hose and things like that. Um, so I'm going to try and put together a little video that uh, shows a little more information. Uh, those are the hydraulic hoses. That One of those lines is the hydraulic line that burst uh, and was leaking all that hydraulic oil. Um, I had to take off all those clips and things you see down here uh, in order to get the, hydro the hydraulic hose off. Uh, the specific hose in question was on the left hand side here just behind uh, uh, the one at the forefront. Um, now uh, the specific nut that you turn is number two, the middle nut, um, and you turn it counterclockwise to remove it. Uh, I was trying to do all sorts of things I saw guys doing on YouTube and none of it worked because they didn't really explain it. Um, but as soon as uh, my friend showed me to turn number two clockwise, counterclockwise, uh, I was able to pull it right off, uh, get that hose off. Um, ended up taking the hose to a, uh, uh, a hose shop. There's a lot of them around. If you just look up hydraulic hose replacement or repair, you'll find them. Uh, you'll see here that I covered the uh, hose outlet in plastic with a rubber band uh, to keep dirt and grime and water out of it uh, because that can cause further damage to your hydraulic system and more hoses to fail, more or your pump to fail. Um, learned that also on uh, YouTube watching some of the other videos. Uh, I took off these plates here uh, that you can see uh, that uh, have come off. Uh, that clip right there, uh, I took off, but it's actually very hard to get back on. So I'd suggest when you put your hoses back in, you very thoughtfully make sure you run in, in the same way. Otherwise, that little clip that holds those hoses together uh, is uh, very difficult to get back together. Um, yeah, that, there's that clip again. Uh, that's how they were originally, um, but I didn't line my hydraulic hose correctly the second time. so. I actually left off that middle metal piece to give me a little more room. Um, here's the, the where it comes in and enters the uh, cab. I uh, took off this face plate with the lock unlock sign. You unscrew that then you take off this metal uh, box right here. I unbolted it number 18, uh, 18 millimeter uh, wrench takes those uh, bolts off. And then I took off the bottom portion here, and you can see it's very cramped and tight in there. There's actually six hydraulic hoses in there, three behind, and there's no way to get a wrench onto them. Uh, so you have to actually kind of dismantle the whole upper part of the armrest with the uh, lever in order to get at these. Um, and uh, up around uh, the um, where the lever is, uh, you can see right here, this is the, the control lever itself. There's screws that hold this in if you lift up the plastic guard. And then underneath of the screws, there's bolts that hold this all together. You take those bolts off and you can drop that whole component down out of this very tight uh, armrest. And that allows you to get uh, the hoses off. Uh, for me, I had to take off the two front hoses because I needed to get a hose that was in the back of this compartment. Um, you can see I've got uh, this pushed up there. Now when I uh, took off the hose in, in the first time, I attached a string to it uh, when I pulled the hose through so I could pull the hose back the other direction. Um, that was an idea of a friend of mine and uh, it was perfectly right on. Um, now getting in there and making these changes, very difficult as you can see until you get that thing kind of pulled out. Uh, but here I got them taken off. Now I'm reattaching them. 
I strongly suggest you also mark which hose is which and which one goes where. Uh, I uh, did try to mark them on this blue tape, but the hydraulic oil ended up rubbing my pencil off. Um, but my photograph I'd taken earlier allowed me to figure out which hose went where. Uh, so I suggest taking pictures as well as trying to make notes on things uh, so that you can keep track a little bit better of where things go exactly. Um, now here's it all uh, put back together uh, with all the hoses in there. Uh, from here, you need to now reassemble uh, and connect. You can see that armrest on its side and how that comes apart. But now I have to push that uh, pilot control lever back up into the handle, um, bolt it back in, put the screws back in, um, and then you're able to get it back together. But at this point, I actually did a test. I turned the machine on and I ran it to make sure that there was no leaking hydraulic fluid, which there was not. Um, and all the controls did what they were supposed to do. Uh, so I was pretty happy about that. Um, now you can see this is how the housing goes back together. Uh, you put those bolts on, and then you put this plastic uh, sleeve back down, you put those screws in, and that holds all of this together. Um, and then uh, to reattach the, ar the lever armrest portion to the seat, you put these bolts on up here on the back, and then the bolts uh, on the front, and that holds it together. Then you need to bolt back down that big gray box, and then put the screws in for the lock unlock cover. Uh, for the lever there um, that gets it back together now here is me uh, my son's actually doing the cinematography here so it's a little he's not very good at aiming because he's about three years old uh, but uh, it shows me doing a little work with the excavator putting some more trees up um, got the machine back working I'm quite happy about that although now I have a diesel fuel leak so that will be an upcoming